Hey guys, being here. Um, today let's uh, model these shapes. Okay, so um, this stairs, this is stairs, and this one will be ramp. And I can't remember what these two are. Okay, so maybe one is a floor and one is a roof. Uh, anyway, let's start. So first. Uh, stairs. So usually we create a stairs like this. Okay. So and so this is a, a precast or assemb assembled stairs. And also we we have the precast stairs and uh, monolithic so stairs. And sometimes we just need a little stairs. So maybe uh, let me just create a similar one CS and maybe uh, this. And to uh, sometimes you don't want to you know model a wall, model two walls on the side. So what you can do is you can go edit. I'll just duplicate these stairs. Okay, so uh, we won't affect that one. So what you can do is you can just go here. So on uh, on the construction, so round type, you can go click on this round type, duplicate. I'll just make it so for example one meter uh, deep. Okay, so I'll call it one meter deep, and I'll change this uh, on the so oh, sorry structure depth to one meter. So if I click OK, so we will be able to create a stair like this. Okay, so of course if you want to create a stair like that, so uh, you probably need to uh, make the depth to maybe three meters. So okay, so this is a stairs. The same. So if I create a ramp, usually, if I finish this, you will see this is a ramp. So this is a default ramp type. But if you so edit type duplicate, I'm just going to call it a ramp two. Okay. So here you have this option. So one is uh, thick. Okay. So if if you use a thick, it will be so all or uh, so here thickness 150 so it will be 150 from the beginning to the end but if you change this to solid and click OK it becomes a ramp like this so and so if I create similar so you can doesn't matter you uh, how you create a ramp you can do it like this and the whole ramp will be solid I think this is quite useful because sometimes you just want to create a ramp and don't want to worry about the the side of the ramp. Okay, so this is a good um, option. And then let's go back to that floor. So the the floor and roof in this are very actually very simple. So you can. You can create so for example um oh sorry this is wall. If you create a floor, so for example you can just create uh, let's just duplicate. I'll call it one meter thick, okay, one meter uh, thick. And so you just need to go to structure, and here just check this box, okay. So once you check this box and okay and okay, and if you create this floor, finish. Uh, hell, did I change the thickness? Sorry, I forgot. Change this to one meter. Okay, so okay and okay. So now you will you have so see this is a floor at floor level and go down by one meter. But if you want to, you can just go edit a uh, mod modify sub element and then you can do this. So drag this down, you will see it becomes a ramp, or you can just do it like this. So, um, or even uh, add split lines, for example, and you can just create a different ramp with different slope, something like that. But it's, it's still one floor, and the underneath of the floor will be will stay uh, flat. Okay. Okay. So um, another one, the same. So if you create a roof. So I'll just change this to ground floor, and I'll also make this. I'll duplicate this one. I'll just call it one one 
and one meter uh, thick. So, okay, so click OK, edit, change this to one meter, and then also check this uh, var variable. Okay, and OK. So now if you create a roof like this, you know, I'll just uncheck the default slope and OK. So now we have this roof, so it's sitting on the ground floor, but different to a uh, ground floor level, but different to the floor, the roof go up, roof go goes up. Okay, so now if you edit this sub element, click on that, you can just drag this down and create this shape as well. Um, okay, I think that's it for today. I'm very um, simple and quick, and yeah, sometimes it's quite useful. Okay, so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, so um, let me just quickly uh, show you how to do some uh, graphic setting to create a black uh, background and white white line uh, work um, um, view. Okay, so so first uh, we need to create a line style because. Uh, this line style will be, uh, will be used to uh, place uh, as uh, a silhouette. So create new, so I'm going to call it Y, uh, maybe 9. Okay, so I'll use, or uh, well, maybe 9 is too thick, uh, I'm not sure, I'll just use 9 for now. And white and solid, okay. So now change to hidden line, HL. So go first, we just need to change the line to white line, so black or the black. You can do this, just right click to overwrite. Or the other way to do it is go to object style, but it's easier to because it's only in this view. So maybe just right click and change all the, change the color of the projection lines. White line, okay. So they are not disappear but because of the background. So you just need to go to graphic display setting, go background, change it to, um, actually you need to change it to gradient. And then black, black, black. Then apply. Okay. So now we need what we need is we need to see a little bit transparent because because we otherwise we won't see those lines because they are white and also they these elements are white as well, right? So the easiest way to do it is you can just do it here. So once you give it transparency here you don't need to right click and um, uh, overwrite and then also depending on uh, oh, because we have this transparency we won't be able to use a shadow and the sketch line yes maybe yeah and then lighting so it won't affect because the hidden line current it's currently hidden line um, style so and then that's that's it. Oh, sorry. In the long wait, because currently, it and you can you can use uh, the scale too. So you will see, you can see if you change the scale, it will uh, change the long wait. But if um, you can also use graphic display. So um, if you use a silhouette, so and then let's just use this Y with nine. We just did we add. So you will see. It will add silhouette to some of the elements, but not all. So you will see the stairs and ramp won't get this silhouette, but floor and roof apparently they will get. So if I draw a wall there, so you will see all this silhouette, but some category they won't get this silhouette long. Okay, so yeah, I think that's that's it, and then. Um, yeah, that's it. So, so for me, I, I usually just add a model text, something like this. So day, day. Uh, I think it's day four five one, and then change the change change the size. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.